play with no sky, which is another weird thing to throw in there too. It's a very different look, and who knows what they've been doing in their prep coming into this game. They knew Bind was going to be in here. That's not a luxury that Optic necessarily had. It was an option that Lau could have taken that away and left you with Fracture. So I'm just intrigued to see whether Loud stick to their game plan that we saw from them online and what they have. Because when I was watching the bottom, it was just that one element. When are you allowed to show the agent? I guess after the match is about. Select. And now, as you said, Sideshow, the KO previously came out. No need to actually look at Kaidi's monitor today. Yeah, I know. Loud, but you guys, uh, it sounds like you want to see some changes, perhaps? Not necessarily. I think it was innovative okay. and creative where nobody actually is uh, expecting that. But They have run the Astro before, but not the last time we saw them play. No, yeah. not at all. I mean, Sadak is changing it over. They weren't even running Viper on this map, on Bind. Yep. They were running no Viper. Brims so only. This is a massive shift away, and, and frankly, who knows what to expect here. I think Loud have showcased that they are good on this map, undefeated, but this is brand new. This is a traditional comp, I think, that we saw from prior controller nerf meta, and it's going to be interesting to see how they change everything that they came into it. A couple of maps they've been doing this on, it's going to be interesting, really interesting. Well, Optic, they have the advantage now, but this is an interesting change coming out of the side of Loud. Pansy and Hypog, let's see if this pays off. Yeah, it's, it's a great question of does this pay off? Because we have seen great success domestically for Loud here. You know, like, knows the look like from Optic? Voted, but it's a I don't really think you need Sova on it's, it's Bind. I'm just starting to think about it. We you know what thing. convinced me? Yeah, Paper X did. The way Paper X were playing, I don't, uh, wait. Like maybe they were playing with Sova, but the way they're utilizing Sky was insane. I actually do think they were playing with Sova. Effectively is going to be the biggest but, person here on Bind. I don't know. Certain stuff you can do with Sky seems good in my opinion. Seconds and we start this one up. Map two, if you're just tuning in, Optic Converge. Especially if you want the double controller. Start, Eventually. Precarious second <laughs> half. Now, things did close in, but obviously Loud did bow down in that one, but it's a chance to come back into this now and prove the diligence. Volume all the way up. I'm just deaf. It's not going to be easy, though. Optic already looking fired up. We've seen Mart hit new highs. FNS leading from those front lines. And Loud, I want to see Aspas find that form. I want to see Pancada back on it. I want to see everyone hit that level. They certainly can. Initially, five man lean towards B side. It's only two members for Optic here. FNS and Crashies. We'll feel a little bit of this pressure if Loud decides to follow through. Yeah, just waiting on this. I think they think he's on the left. No rotation come through from Optic just yet. And not a lot of utility to really add to Yeah, and the crunch is going to come through. Yeah, and the delivery on one, Crashies was able to find Aspas, so that's going to lose a little bit of the burst. The dog? <gasps> he only saw one. He didn't know that Victor had threaded through, but the trade out, Les still finds the shot. FNS on the side needs to do well here. Does damage, but that is not going to really convert into a kill. Les still is alive. That's the sky down, so no heals. If there's, a, HP if there's a gun up, man, it still counts. Molly gonna try and clear at least a little of the site, force them to unfavorable scenarios and try and tee up Ye here. That's lovely for Ye. Needs two more though. As the site, this still holds this down. Ye again! This guy, the golden gun in his hand, 14 HP! Wow. He's got it! Ooh. Close first round. <laughs> yeah, with the sheriff. We've got an absolute heater in this great, one. Great, great usage of the molly, though. Just to set Ye up, force them into these uncomfortable positions in backside. And like you said, with that golden gun, Ye still makes this interesting. See, FNS with the triple swing there. Yeah. I mean, it's a miracle he even does that much damage. Yeah, I thought it was just cooked. <laughs> I like this from Loud. I want them to kind of bound back into this so we get a nice close series. But another key indicator early on. Turn my volume up slightly. Very right comfortable here. to get proactive. Oh, that's Again, TV. as soon as that yep. wall drops, they know. They have that window of opportunity to really punish Loud or at least do some damage on the way in. Yeah. So I was a little worried there wasn't a rotation. That was that was my big worry yeah. then. There was kind of slow, but that, that TP take was great. Oh, yeah. Very nice. A little bit of a look of things to come. Yeah, he posted really deep. Actually, he's going to pull Optic in this early rotation. Yeah, and he's allowed to he's timing the Roomba. Flies over towards a. a lot of pressure on this man. Take flight. Making it a little over aggressive almost. Oh, you get off! Victor unleashes, goes straight forward, finds Sassy. They're just baffled by this loud, I'm certain of it, because FNS waiting as well. This is still so dangerous. Victor's got the upgrade. FNS venomous with it as well, yeah, finding okay. Sadak. Oh, wow. What's happened here? He's got the spike to hand, but he's got no teammates, and Ye is still patrolling. Thank God. Uh, if he falls back, he goes to Ye. If he aggresses forward, he's got two players to find. What are the options here? Blocking the undesirable vision. scenario. It's going to take some real brilliance to do something with this. TP is available if he wants to try it, but yay, I mean, he'll still see that. 
Crashy's the first test. He's gonna dip, he's gonna make him work for his dinner. And Carter has to try and do something spot down too. Still left. keeps his HP though. And he's trying to bait Crashy's back in. He wants it, he's not gonna wow, get it. Wow, dude. Turn it right back around. 1-1 one, one now. Dude, Optic has been winning so many thrifties. Yeah, said, immediately, yeah, he drifts down short. Huge. There's, there's so much space to work with there. And it opens up the possibility to actually be proactive once again. The, the conditioning of that alone now. You can't just do those all-in leans. Well, you have to now keep that in mind that maybe yeah, he's going to go walkabouts. And the key thing here is they have no utility plan control, right? So it's, yeah. it's drawing Pancada deeper and deeper, further away Take from Take him away from it, yeah. Wait, is that the result? That or... increases the pressure on Aspas, Sassy, no, and Sandak true. to find these opening engagements. That's, that's, that's... The way that round went down is going to be something to really worry about for Loud. They can recover just fine, but it's certainly going to cause that little bit of paranoia, that little worry. Actually, the second leg to this is, it's one of these key engagements we always talk about, and it was the shower's pressure, right? This sure. is such a pivotal part of the map here, particularly for the attackers. Oh, <laughs> Still getting away with it. I don't know how he's holding this down. I thought he was dead to right, so at least one of them was besting utility deal. And the second oh. still stands. 29. Actually gets himself out of danger. And speaking of danger, really sassy now, the only one with the upgraded weapon. So he'd be the only one to really be able to find a safe and easier shot. A bit of a misread here, unless actually, no, FNS is just swapping out for the heal, you're right. Yeah, he will actually find less, so. I will drop the wall. <laughs> yeah, and leave Lao Fing a little bit a. exposed here. Mm. Not being given much. Sassy catches a nice bit of timing on Victor there just to readdress and look back towards showers. Again, needs a lot of ending ahead. Two of them trying to pry this away. 30 seconds left. No, obviously, weapons oh, in hand. Yeah, the control is beautiful. Optic, comfortable on that round. Kept composure. Almost over-aggressed towards Shower, but fell back nicely towards Sight. Really nice balance there. It's tough, like I said, there's less that gets found. I, I think blind. Asher on blind? I think it worked. So their only real safety net there is the Viper wall. Just the way that... uh again, nobody on the other side of it in Lamps to even entertain... Oh, why does it vibrate like that? Of throwing that one away on the side of Optic. It's a really, really well controlled. What? I'll come back into this. I mean, full by other than Sassy down on the light shield due to the sheriff in the They're previous battle. Out. Hunter's Fury available here. Let's see for Optic, the showstopper offline. Pretty early for Victor, so. Dude, it pulsates so, like. That's huge to come into round four. I don't know. With the showstopper. Very early. Like, that thing is just throbbing. Here, actually. Uh, commands addressing. You, you can't just leave it on its own, and the rotation's quick for Victor. She's shoulder peak. Haven't really got any contact yet. You can see the flight. trade out here. So that's unable to deny. And that's going to reveal at least two players then. Did nothing off the drone as well. So we know it's this 3 2 split. And there's the send. Doesn't find what he wants at all. Sends it right back in. Hunter's Fury going to get popped as well. Victor tries to do the dance and. Well, he can't keep up the footwork, not quick enough. The Sassy's gonna find him, and that's the player advantage they were dreaming of. FNS now dealt with. Oh! Dealing with, maybe, Five should I say, is less than Pancada go down. Still controlling on long 30 HP, but it's a spike scene for the breakthrough on the woods. They, they know FNS is right here. He's gotta turn around and face the music. Sadak's right there. And now, yay! What is this position? Is he on the attacking side at this point? No! But he is the one who's down and out. Spike now recovered, and it's Marv. And it's the oh. TV, sure to get there through. And Marv, what are your options 30 seconds now? Left. He's gonna try and catch him. You gotta run, boys, run, because Marv is hot on your heels. Oh, what a shot at <laughs> He just stalls him. That's what you need. Loud, thriving in that chaos now. As you said, like, ooh, he just misses the plant. Actually, that would have been Seekers online for him. Oh, nice. If he would have found it. But have damage done. And you can see, actually, the knock-on effect here to the economy of Loud. Again, FNS. <laughs> lining him up. Two. And so much damage done to Sassy, but the pinch from Hooker, perfectly timed. They're able to... Trade this out effectively, and yay. Yeah, I mean, he's put in a rough spot there to challenge. I think he's desperate to try and keep control of the spike, but well, the chance there, if he does reset, him and Marv can set up for that 2v2. Yeah, they just, they just get shower control. Right, oh no. To invest to try and find this early shower. Dude, control. they're using so much already. Uh, and again, the trailblazer are on the back of it. What so the fuck? Up. This is a big win for Optic. Oh, wait, well, I think... For the early exchange, but Crashies could be the equal... Oh, he still checks it so diligently. 
I thought Pancada was going to find that. But look at the aggress down short. The switch up so much shown towards Shower. And now they try and make the play towards Short. They're going to draw the attention back in. The wall's still there. Going to keep them safe for the slip back. Posting up Yay for now. Optic are so good for finding this space. So much pressure. They have to re-clear. So Passes considered going. now. This is really lovely work. But it's all early round. It could all still fall apart. You can do everything right. And somehow Loud still can do just the right back things to you. Now, there's the utility. Seekers come in. They won't be able to find as much. They have to try and find a new way forward to avoid all that utility in play. But they're going to know FNS. He's still standing and he's still fighting. Down, effective though. trades for Optic as Ye on the back lines is still as effective as ever. And now just two. Sassy and Aspas. And again, these players are just That's taking player fights. Standing. Spray control not enough to be able to adjust. Definitely. But it's still Sassy. Gets straight from Shower and Ye. They've got to know he's around, but where? 30 seconds left. Can Sassy find him? The rotation's coming in. Yeah, he's heard that. I think he's seen that too. And the cross oh, he had no idea. Yay, beautiful presence here. And Optic keep two alive and command the tempo on this defensive side. But now it have to be a little more frugal in the early round here. They have nothing by the time they're actually pushing onto site. And it's not even the area they've invested all this utility early on. They reset, they drop. Yay. Sorry, I just caught that in the replay there. What was that yeah. adjustment? But like I said, they, they have nothing to really rely on. I mean, the drones dealt with so early. The ATP's away, so it, it basically mitigates that altogether. Mm -hmm. Loud, these hits are just, I'll be honest, extremely flat. Because it's relying on somebody just going in, finding an entry, and then snowballing from there. And Optic are in the right place at the right time. They oh, shit, they're just going to walk up. Because of what Crashies and Ye were able to do in the early round, they always have bodies in the right place. I don't know if they saw Sadak there, but they're pushing through this. Sadak has to peel away. Oh, I think they just missed him as well. Wow. A look at the space once again. It's going to pull this rotation of Ye potentially because yep. they know there's nothing set up outside eight. He's bringing that Toilet Force right back around. He's still got his traps there as well. They're not really falling for much. They can maybe post up Marv if they're a little worried about that reaggress. Okay, he's seen less. So yeah, they know they pushed through showers now. Pause, pause for thought here. Still got smokes the thing is, will they? That's again time being bought. Will they ignore Vic? Did you walk this? You try and get through this. No Hot way. flash potentially. It didn't work. He yeah. positioned himself so well to not get blinded. Dips back even further. And he's got support coming in on the back lines. Don't forget the Victor was with him. Oh, the Victor just a little too late to try and it. save him. But you're right, he could. And now Optic gonna make their way around, but Loud have a moment, a chance. It's gonna be so slim, so fragile. As here, it looks like Victor's made a mess. Oh my god! Oh. Absolutely made a mess of that one, and Loud are gonna capitalize. FNS. He just did a me. He, has to he did what I did. That his fate was sealed. Look at the HP. There's a chance, and you're right. Five H. Five seconds for the flash. There was less than five HP on Pancada. Is now Sadak low as well. Almost caught on the cross. And Grashies the flashes back up, sends it. He's blind! Oh and my god. Grashies! His turn to save the day here, because Loud were on the precipice of turning that. Comes up huge with the Red Bull clutch here for Optic after I felt like that one was gonna slip through their fingers with yeah. so many successes early on here in this round. Again, creating so much space by being, being willing to be so proactive. Mm. Okay, let's let's again I like to take stock at this point, kind of hit the brakes a little bit. I want to see Loud come back in with uh, an address towards that early utility exchange, potentially how they look towards showers control, how they're going to deal with this almost... I I'd say Optic are winning out in that early battle. I Massively. want to see the adjustment in that for it's, now. It's not even close for me, Lauren. No, nope. I'm with you. Okay. And like I said, the fact that... that oh, okay, almost got different. the kill there. But it's, right, it's, bit, it's another obstacle here in terms of this war of attrition for showers control early on. But look at this aggression down on long as well. Yeah. It's always one of these sites or one of the sides is always being addressed. Be it Yeager go and walkabouts being at the showers control. Optic, uh, I think, oh, yeah, they've spotted. definitely seen it. Okay, but this, if anything, encourages Ye to stick around, right? He's going to post up on this. He knows that there's some idea of players here. That's it. Lovely delivery for Ye. Falls away. Doesn't need to outstay his welcome. But while all this happens, they've still locked down showers. They've not given up short control. Optic are putting up a perfect wall of defense here. They are playing a good game right Spike now. Drop. This is this time around a little more utility to work with the drone to try and pave the way. And GFNS oh. just about finds out the Sadak. Last second adjustment. Orbital strike used preemptively here on short just to slow it down, but Crashes is still gonna be able to find something here. He's got to slip away now. But they still can't get past Ye. He's gonna hold this cross. If they try and dip out through hooker. 
that's gonna be such an issue. That's how you do it. With pace, with vigor, wow. with that momentum, and now they've, okay. they've isolated Ye. They've got him on his own here. Oh, <gasps> the, the collateral. Discount, and Ye doesn't need any help. It's 10 seconds now, and Sassy. 10 seconds. Oh my Wrap god. Up, Dude, they were sitting on each other. Seconds, FNS waiting, just sprays in on it, and Optic starting to build in this half already. Oh man, this is. I, I think I Loud needs a timeout, man. They need to stop this somehow. I can't believe they line up for the collab. That, that is absolutely heartbreaking. Like I said Ye is just given so much space to work with. And Loud, even, again, the awareness is there. They know after that kill onto Pancada, he's still going to be somewhere, tucked in. And Ye makes them pay for that one. But again, it's, it's desperation. They find the kill onto Marv. They have to just try and stick the plant there. Deploying drone. Pace change? Maybe in this round. Test the waters a little. Run it down. Yeah, frenzies, sheriffs. But again, you think just purely utility alone. There's so much in that showers control, the crossfire for the post plant. Or oh, even just post plant positioning for loud is brutal here. They almost have to overstep, overreach towards CT. And it looks like they're going to try and wrap a little through lamps. And the awareness from Ye, he's already considering this. The timing. Oh, he just off to the side. Great work from Aspas. Value alone from that is massive. Hector does find less in the meantime. Oh, he missed it. Good here. Pain Shell doesn't quite find it. The spike will go spike down. Planted. Loud thriving right now. See, Aspas still tucked in here. They're going to be able to bail him out. No FNS finds the first. That's good for the trade. Absolutely, especially with Victor on 5 HP. And the space is not good enough for Marv to be able to find the swing. Divide goes up and he gets ahead of it. Sprays in, finds it. Oh, Marv! Last player standing. Digging his heels in on this round, but he still needs to deal with Pancada. He wants halfway. He's going to get halfway. Oh, he's not stopping. He's not stopping. You heard you knife. Pancada has to sit back and watch as Marv rips the round away from them. He, he heard the... That uh, <laughs> that was a little bit of He heard the Asha knife the wall, and so the he just stuck it. Because the way... <laughs> The direction he heard it, he heard it, it like no right there. No hesitation whatsoever. Sticks that through. There's the blanket, the safety blanket there. Of the smoke to hold up. Well, there's the time I wanted coming in now. Yeah, yeah. It has to come in. I, I don't know what the answers are. Again, I'm nowhere near these players, but there has to be an addressment of something. Again, I love this round. That's the optic play a little deeper. They're almost relying on playing plant denial initially sure. with the snake bites. I mean, Victor, uh, with the pressure coming through to him, he can't combine the paint shell with that. Not even sure if it would have resulted in a kill, but Optic, they know the rounds to push. They know the rounds to sit a little deeper. They're feeling so comfortable right now on the defense. They are. You stop playing songs that absolutely slap them get distracted. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is gonna put Loud to the test here. And the coaches, it's time to talk, right? It's time to really start trying to come up with a plan of approach. And for me, the fact is, though, that Optic have come out with such a solid start that even if Loud are able to address the initial problem, there could be layers to this, there could be adaptation, there could be so much more behind it now. Two, two big things I'm looking for here. Loud, if they continue to sit in these defaults, Pancada has to be a little more diligent, be a little more careful. And the other thing is, if they're going to resort ad seed more towards a, a, a traditional site execute, they've got to start saving this utility. I mean, yeah. we've talked about this. They need to actually resort to a more, you know, drilled, that, that choreographed kind of execute here. But the problem is, there's so many variations for the side of Optic. How do they isolate a kill there? This has to be like textbook execute to, to even find it. They have nothing to really rely on other than finding a first blood, creating the space themselves. And now, yeah, with the operator back on board. Crashy's going to do, as said, the protocol list. Run through it. And oh, Pancada on the free five. Yeah, spammed out on that. I don't think you could even see it. Get the Seekers going as well. FNS going to dip away from the Sily, and yeah, going to be called to really try and hold this defense together because FNS down B. he's actually done well enough to be able to handle the front line of this and keep at least three of them standing against three. There it is. Yay, still stands. Connects towards Sassy and expects a swing from who could. No one's there. We know that, but obviously he doesn't. Still has to be super diligent. And when that wall drops, what does he see? Less tucks into the corner. He's still got support here. Problem being, if they take this TP, Marv's already set up for it. Yeah. So and they have to almost commit here. In the rotation. If they double swing this, it doesn't matter. Yay, always will hold. And this guy is just, he knows it. He felt the pressure and he's not going to risk it. He's going to wait for that rotation to come back in. Tempers his own aggression for once as Pancada now. Tries to find a way around, navigate something. Oh, is he going to take it back? CT and that paranoia himself he's going to take it back and play inside of it. He's going to work his way in. The pre-fire on it. Beautiful work. Optic. They are looking... 
like the full package again. This defensive side from them. I, I, look, again, I don't want to get too ahead of myself because map one looked real similar, didn't it? And then, you know, the switch up of the events. However, at seven to two, we have to give great deals of credit to how Optic are standing at the moment. I mean, this is big as well because Optic concede the first blood. And, and actually, it was such a standout statistic last time in their previous series. I mean, uh, they only flipped four out of 16 4v5s. So to be that comfortable there, giving up the first, then resetting a little deeper. Uh, again, here, it, it's the site they have three members on. Yeah. FNS delivers with the second follow-up. And actually, Victor good for the crunch once again to find a kill elsewhere. So that's really key for me, because Optic do more yeah, often than walking. not rely on it. He has to over-aggress on this. He's holding them down! Yay, Unchained at the moment, just gonna be hunting these players out. And this is against potentially like a four spy, maybe even an eco. That's so risky to go walking with an operator like that. Ridiculous. Again, another little switch up. Optic are happy to dip their toes time and time again and test this default of loud. Crashes once again again. Yep, spots a pixel out of place. Yeah, so you said this, this. This, is, this is the reset. What's next on the protocol list for Optic? Mm -hmm. <laughs> FNS there in time. Invest the utility. No oh, quick pressure not. can come up from long now. But this time they do at least have a little bit of presence towards Hooker. We didn't see that before for Loud, so this could be a nice element towards this. And they don't know about FNS. They got the rotates position. coming. Yep, normally tucked up on long. Oh, the flash. Is he going through? On the side. FNS was Wait, oh, FNS oh, is what? blind too. Cool. Aspas. Okay, doesn't matter. It's fine. He's got this all himself. Wait, Find how did he get blind? Crash, Wait, what? It doesn't matter. Loud left. explode on the side. Finally looking deadly. Marv still stand, and there's always going to be a chance if this man's alive. But what are you? Wait, what's happening? Throw the showstopper out as well, so the plant can come through planted. comfortably. A two v three now for Victor and Marv. Sassy posted up in front of Hooker. He gets spotted on the jumpy though. Oh, he found him. Here. Unreal from Victor. And now look at what they've got weaponry. They've got a stinger and a spectre. It's so subpar and Marv clearing meticulously towards Long, trying to make his way back in towards his side. He adjusted, dipped away from Hooker itself, and now they're clearing through. They have to clear these close angles. They're trying to bring these SMGs to the best place. The timing's good. They fight together, and now just one Aspas who got this started made it a problem. Still being a problem. Showstoppers up, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh, what a close round. No way. Victor still lands that, but the showstopper finds him regardless. Oh, how did he even hit that shot? There was a second in it. Uh, just beautiful work from Marv once again, though. This smoke completely baits Loud into set up, expecting him to come out of hooker. Uh, this is fantastic as well, by the way. Nasty. Nasty work. Sassy's the one post up with a bulldog, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So he's the, the strongest weapon oh. remaining on the side of Loud, but... Aspas finds the red ball clutch. Beautiful. And Loud. Damn, Vic hit the headshot too. A critical one as well for Loud. Needed that. And Optic um, responds. Oh, the aggro. Rushing B long. Um, hey, FNS, they're, they're not on B, so. Um, no flank ready? control, by the way. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Ye's already over here. Sassy's out. Back. <gasps> and Sassy is going to be greeted by something I don't think he expects, but maybe. He's got a little bit of consideration to Wait. This. And if you're allowed, you're asking the question, where the hell are they? And there's the Seeker's going to be coming out. There's a swing off the back, and Sassy still holds. He got He's down, Marv. That's huge. Yay, yeah, well, I'm still going to grab one with him and take him down to the grave. How did he get one? fight this time for Loud. Holding and fall. Numbers. And Crashy's going to get out of this flash in time. There's still three of them looking for it. They are not comfortable. They're going to pop the ult to try and deal with it. He's going to be a execution <laughs> no, Dude, the flash has popped in his face. Every single problem that Optic are throwing at them here. And that's lovely work from Loud. Finally, all right, they're, they're bringing the half back. Authority in this game. Sassy, the only one really drawn to check the flank there because he has the Hunter's Fury. It's the last thing there that Loud want to rely on after finding a comfortable plant. But thank God he does. Uh, I mean, here. <laughs> Look at how much clutter there is on his screen. They Who still can still find up. that kill? Beautiful. Again, uh, I mean, is this a round that Loud can replicate? That's a lot of pressure on that man's shoulders if they have yeah. to. Again, Sassy, what a, what a leader in that regard. Just, you know, as said, holding nerve, watching that flank. Optic can hit the timeout on the final round here, maybe just discussing with what their money scenario is, what to come up with, maybe expand on the plan a little more. That there, though, is a perfect example to what I'm talking about, the <laughs> variety of this aggression. The rounds where Loud decide to stack up, Optic are just absolutely farming into yeah. the space. Yeah, uh, well, Bind's an interesting map. Bind, they like, can it can be defender-sided. I don't know. I feel like Bind is, like, a really one, on like... Short, like I said, that's it's like a momentum actually, map. 
really highlights just how important that engagement is as Sassy drifts away from it. Whether or not, now they're actually now going to lean heavier towards stacking up here. Again, that threat has to be a constant consideration for them. And they've ju I, I, I've got to say, like you look at that string kind of mid first half of rounds five back to back. It was very, very clear cut for Optic. But again, loud. These the, these players are so capable of turning a scoreline one more round, and you know it's it's I a mean, good half for me. Oh, he's CP back. It feels like an absolute miracle with the way Optic have played this once again on the defensive side. If Loud can scrape together a seven five, that is huge in my eyes. Okay, early ult goes in. And Zephaness going to try and shut down the approach at least towards short. And yeah, again, he's found so much room. Holy Hero shit, the aggro too. plays from them. But they're not unaware of it. You can see the players are looking this way. Aspas was already looking this way. I think, excuse me, Pancada was already no looking this way. Hunter's Fury gonna go out, send it through. Try and clear FNS. Maybe a tag That's would be great. Now for it, yay though. Oh, Ooh, the triple. Yeah. Big a. players make big plays in big games and he just did three yeah. kills back to back. And look at the buy they had coming into this. Huge impact alone. Zanak, you got nothing to do with it. Aspas now as well, left all to his own. A 1v5 off the back of Ye being such a nuisance, such a threat in all occasion. And now what do you do with this? You got to try and dismantle them. I don't know how you're going to make it around, but Aspas will give it a damn good try. Marv is closing in. And of course, look who's waiting in the back lines. The devil himself, Ye, shuts down this half. Eight to four, I mean. I thought this could have been closed right Switching back sides. in. Like, I thought that was going to be, you know, that 7-5, hey, game on. But 8-4 feels different. I mean, you talk about it in the previous round. There's example two. What goes wrong when Optic are able to actually convert <laughs> this space early on? And it's on the back so of the good. Hunter's Fury. No, yeah. he's testing the diligence of Loud here. Is somebody watching Sassy's back? Is somebody covering that? Well, they're going to have a rude awakening on the second half if they're certainly not, because 8-4, it's competitive. But it's not completely clear cut. Guys on the desk, your thoughts? Thank you very much uh, there, guys. I'm so glad Hypop brought up the whole point uh, of their defense and how they're taking space there. And Saisho, uh, sometimes I'm not quite sure if Optic are playing defense or attack. They're just pushing. <laughs> they love disrespecting their opponents when their opponents don't have a chamber. They will just push and push and push. And it feels like part of that timing is based off the fact that Aspas is not really covering sand. He's not using that boom bot up there. I think there were, what, three or four different instances in which they were just able to expose the gaps that Loud had in their attack have. You saw it in showers, you saw it down sand. The yeah, last well, round really just kind of puts it all together. If from from what it looks like to me, both teams long, yeah. are... It's really interesting that we see... Like, I feel like they function better on defense. As well on the mm -hmm. flank, because that's exactly what you said, Josh, at the beginning of this. Because Optic's defense, like, on, on all maps are pretty good. Comp, Loud's comp is not theirs. But from, like, watching... Sure. Like, watching Ascent saying, as well. Hey, this doesn't work at all. There's so many instances... Loud was, like, making the comeback on defense. Like, on attack, they they kind of got shut down and they didn't know what to do when they were running into a wall, so... For when the execute happens. What I found amazing as well... I do think it's a lot easier to play on defense for the most part in most maps. I find that attack on... Attack in this game is really hard. Intuitively understanding how the meta works right now and finding and exploiting those holes individually just based off the info they get. I think Optic are the best team in the world on Bind right now, and they're showcasing it. How disastrous will it be if uh, Loud aren't able to find any answers into the second half? That could be, I mean, that could be the end of the series. <laughs> That's what we're looking at right now. It could be 2-0, and then we're going to a map three that they're, I mean, the pressure is on at that point. It's certainly going to test their mental like they've never been tested before. These guys have not had a huge amount of experience on the stage. That's been optics to me. Uh, on Ascent, they did hit back in the second half. They found a response. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if they can do that here. Pansy and Hypok as well. Yeah, I think for me, this is a bit of a litmus test of what optic really yeah. is yeah. right now. Because as the desk kind of alluded to, right? This is a, VO5, this is yes, a it little is. bit of a new environment. I mean, it's, uh, it's a great point from Josh. This is based on... No prep, right? Yeah. So, like I said, this is just the, the checklist in place for Optic. This is yeah. This ADSing kind of thing on Vandal is pretty good. The like, like they're starting when right canvas don't care what you're yeah, bringing. with the Vandal. Our game plan and we're I think it's a lot easier to like hit a headshot when, when you're like tapping and stuff. That's why. Here, that's why you can see them using ADS so much. Same with the same thing with the chamber ADS. Like it's so much easier to get the sheriff shots when everything's like a lot closer. Loud finally play. 
their own game though, because they are being dictated to. They haven't been able to control that pace just yet. Optic have a disadvantage of the rematch. Yes, they don't have any bans. Here in the second half at eight to four. So they weren't able to ban Breeze. Thus far, but we're in best of five territory in the grand finals here in Reykjavik. And again, loud. What do you have for us this time? Good though, just related back to that domestic performance. The thing is, well, looking at Optics Hop, I Sorry. do think come in with a Optics Hop is better for defense. Definitely in the driving seat here. Not less, it's actually, uh, I mean, it's burning up a lot of toxin here, but nobody on the side of Optic actually here to pressure on the backside on the cooldown. Already sassy, actually. Going to hit this early rotation. As Optic do drift back this way, and it's the drone actually to come through. It's just slipped through. Unnoted, I think, as well. Yeah, there's a window, though, where he can make anything of this. Oh. And wait, Aspas to the side of the head, he just dipped back out from shower. I didn't think he was really within killing distance, but apparently so. Finds it for almost three, left. and they can't really dig him out of this position. Optic, oh. this is not good. This is not looking oh. nice at all. Is Aspas going to find three this round? Perfect Momentum shift? Oh. Playing that nuisance player from shower to absolute perfection. Swings in, can't quite get it, but Sassy's by his side. And that's more than enough work. That's them basically giving them a gateway yeah, like, in this game. The thing that's really good about so if they can convert the second, having the oh, like the double initiator the on this map, like a like a Sova Sky or like a Definitely like a Sova right K or something is. like that, is you get Great work from like a shit ton of info. And then all, at the same time, you have like with the Sova or the Sky, you have like a dog or a drone to clear up with you. No, the only thing that Optic has in their arsenal to actually clear stuff for free outside of like a Raze Roomba, which You'd want maybe it doesn't really do the same thing because you don't really know exactly, but uh, they just have the Sky Dog. So you have to be very like lenient with it. And if they whip out an op, then it'd be quite rough playing into the Sky Dog. Pretty much ready for it. One down. Less comfortable. And the only upgrade here will be with Marv. Everyone else just on the classics. Playing pretty close to this, Alec. They do need to be careful, and you'll take that absolutely every day of the week. And caution thrown to the wind for Crash. He's going to try and find one. Less quickly quells that problem. And oh. Back. Oh, this is good for oh. Optic. Still yay with the chamber. Moments, and if Yay still stands and he's got that gun to hand, there's always oh. danger. Not right now. Sassy oh. says no. Not this round. We're going to keep this in check. Three of them kept the play alive. They don't lose too much. The reinvestments will be fine. That's key as well. Bring across that three weapon buffer to the bonus round. See how it actually sits here, whether or not it's just going to be pistols to round this person. Yes, the now. team coming from the upper bracket has an advantage. Less, so they banned two maps here. and picked the first map. No so that means yeah, Optic didn't get to pick first map and they weren't able to ban a map. So that's so where the, progress in terms of ultimates the advantage comes from. So that's the other side. Aspas, what was it? Victor managed to get his showstopper on. So if Loud take this map, for example, too far off the pace, to be honest with it you. could be favored for them to take a 2 1 because they have um, they have Breeze, which is Optic's perma ban. And that's if they're comfortable on Breeze, though. Now, if Optic wins this map 2 0, then Loud would have to reverse sweep, but it would make it easier since Breeze would be the, the third map that they play. What was first map? First map was Ascent. It was a rematch. But actually, on the other side of this, with a little bit of space towards Hookah here. Well, that's actually in the, I guess, the unexpected position with the judge. And difficult here if Optic wide swing this. He can be cleared here. And uh, again, could be difficult for him to really close out a kill. I think Optic are feeling as if yeah. there's kind of a bait here. This is a trap some, that they're walking into. I don't think they have utility to clear it too easily. Yeah, the molly, but again, he could still swing on that. It's not something that's going to completely nullify him from this round. Now, obviously, he doesn't know it. Yeah, he's going to have to hard clear. And he's going to just take the buck shot to the chest. And it's, <laughs> oh, it's labored, but it works. Let's all take it at this point. Sassy with a mad spray. And look at the numbers advantage. Optic being torn limb from limb. Crash is still alive, though. But Les just has to stay alive. To try and clear him now. Flash for it. Has to turn. You can see the longevity of the flash coming into play. 13 HP. Less looks dead. Classic. And the spike's back <laughs> That's just hilarious. But again, Aspas still working, still putting in so much damage and a quick TP take for Crashies. <gasps> does Pankara have a star? No, he does not. Ten seconds well, the Seekers left. off the plant. Could be key for him here, especially if Loud split up. Oh, he does. Yeah. Wait, I didn't see it. <laughs> One plant, but Crashies, nice little adjustment there. Real smart. Oh, he's got the judge. Oh, he swapped out to the wrong weapon. Oh, no, oh he has a judge. It's a disaster. 
He's got to play close contact now. Well, Dude, if they figure out he has a judge. And that's about it. Let's see what you can do with this, because this changes the entire dynamic. One flash sends it, doesn't get anything for it. They're both in the Oh my god, he, fu <laughs> he fucked up by getting the wrong weapon. That is so unlucky. I'm sure he didn't mean to. He did not mean to. That is a breath of fresh air that got so dangerous but again they are showing this capability time and time again i think you're absolutely right the weapon swap doesn't come through there actually got an opportunity for crashies to play that a little differently and ultimately relies on on loud completely dropping the ball here in the retake yeah i swear those those people, those shots on people running like when you're oh, when you're trying to spray transfer grinning ear to this shit is hard clip. Great recovery from Loud though, because initially, I, I mean, it looked as if FNS and Crashies are able to make that work. The, the pressure comes to him to less at the right time, and he's the one actually controlling the spike as well. It's a great decision making on the side of Crashies there to really go forward, force the issue, and find that engagement. And this purchase coming in for Optic, looking shoddy, but and no ultimates as well. Yeah. So and at this point, I'm just, I, I want to see if they've got something in mind. And well, I mean, I guess charging at them works with a frenzy. Uh, it takes you, takes you some space. That's brilliant though, with the poison orb, they actually played anti-flash on the fountain, waited oh, for the orb, orb to come through. They try and flash. And oh, elbow orb. And double sat you up to close the distance. So unfortunately, they're not to find a kill, but. Nice intention. Yeah, forced Sadak right back towards elbow. A little bit of pressure shown towards B, actually pulls a rotation early as well. And they're a little ahead of this, but I guess it depends on when they decide to Pick up the pace, switch into that next gear. Hey, Marv's got a Guardian. This, and we saw what Marv can do with that. <laughs> yeah. So, again, Ass Pass is here. It's a trade. Spike okay, Marv a. keeps this a little bit feisty as Ye's going to try and late clear towards Shower. Not a bad plan, but Ass Pass reads it so perfectly. Really diligent work from him. Huh? That rifle removed in the hands of Big Oh, Ass Pass. Pass! This guy's a demon. Absolutely keep them in check, and all that hope gets removed here for Optic. A chance in this round. Oh, he's clean with now. it. Ass Pass brings that scoreline all even. We're at 8-8. Eight, eight. Just like that, Louder back in this. In the second half, once again, four unanswered rounds here. These guys are so good. Yeah. The capability to turn games like this around, it's, it's not easy. I mean, it's terrifying. If Aspas comes online, we've seen what this guy can do. Yeah. It could be a real win condition for that. I mean, he is a real win condition yes. for Loud. He's on 22 to 12 right now. Yep. There's three They're players the on Loud that are actually still below 10 kills. Yep. Which just shows actually the overperformance almost from Aspas. And we saw actually, I mean, you Doug was alluding to it earlier, Yes, I did. That performance on Icebox was less where, I mean, Sassy even in an interview said, yeah, he hard carried us that game. And if there's characters in this roster that can literally solo carry a map, mm. it's a fairly scary prospect. It certainly is. I mean... Let's see what they would be doing this time. So, <laughs> I... I'll counter that with actually Optic have... Marved. Yeah, they have like... Four, potentially five actually with yeah, that map one with FNS. performance for FNS. Yeah. Yep. It's okay. At least it's not like that other game, the simple thing. I mean, it's, it's different, I promise you. Don't know what you're talking about. Never heard of that. Nope. Eight eight. Anyway. Uh, not much of a golfer. <laughs> you're funny. Yay with the operator though could be something of influence here. Finally gonna get that at least on board this time. But again, Aspas, this guy's impact alone has been sublime. Twenty two to twelve at this point. Considering that to turn back a scoreline too. With the operator here, I'm curious that's to see if Optic want to slow things down even more here. Then work a pick, yep. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Victor will judge. Actually, the complete opposite to that. He's probably going to try and speed up here. Yeah. Polar opposites almost, right? But let's see. Close flash. And Victor's away. So going to take early control over towards elbow. And They're judging. On the other side, there's a, there's a lot of players there. So Victor going to take a lot of space. Obviously, he doesn't know how judging much you player. he's done. But this is somewhat of a stack on the other side as well. You're going to have the early rotation coming into. If Sadak's sitting towards CT, but it's going to be yay. Aspas still aggressive. has a... With the operator. He still has an backline player. Happy to lead. The smoke's about to die, though. And uh, they they just, I feel like they're just sending... Yay to try and deal with Aspas, but there are other players lingering around. And they have to tap the spike, pull out the gravity well. They're waiting for Marv to actually come and pinch showers here. Yeah, yeah he knows that he's got his pinned in the corner. The flash is. Wait, peek right away. He doesn't swing on it. 
No, Aspas is fine as well, gets to swing back into that. Hey, that was such a good play for them, but... any means to that degree, so he was able to address that push. This feels tailor-made to try and deal with the man. It shows! And they absolutely Wait, crunch dude. on Optic. That this would have been such a good play from them. Stunning play, Victor. It would have to go hero mode. It ain't gonna happen. Aspas is still the beast who will not be tamed. He will not be like, moved. Like, he just the has to swing as soon as the flash pops. Him, and he just did rather than, like, waiting. Absolutely. Like, what even even if he is. dodged it, it still will blind you for, like, a half second this or, like, something like that. This relies on Loud slipping up, giving away the opening engagement, losing that first blood. That's actually crazy. Uh, again, whether or not slowing it down is going to work here for Optic. Because they're on the site pretty early, right? It's the Stimbeak and the double satchel. Again, they, now Aspas can play a little out of showers. You want to play? Let's play. Oh, oh that was really uncomfortable, the timing, Fankata. Unfortunate, but just a little bit bizarre to go wandering. Big win, though. I feel like that's the, the easiest first blood the Optic have been able to find. Did they get the rifle off it? I don't know if they did. I felt like they were close enough, but maybe just dip back in. No, he saw him. A player, but it's Aspas waiting again, this guy. Can you clear him? Yeah, he seems all to ooh, ooh. Yay! Oh, Absolutely unreal, but it is traded out quickly. Sassy. Oh Zach, my god. Zach, they're all blind. It's what? Shot. He chased out Mark. What? Oh, Wait, what are you? What? what? The blunder. What was that? Optic on the feed into the TP. What? Absolutely. Like to the slaughter. Absolutely desperate. Sadhak literally eats his own flash. <laughs> Everyone's just stood there, hands up in the air, like, well. That happened. Oh dear, and they do say desperation really is an attraction. <laughs> what just happened? Wait, dude, they kept going through the TPs. <laughs> Let's swing them together, guys. Oh, yeah, that yeah. one will get the fans on the feet. That's, that's one for the fans right there. Loud one. Oh, you see the little kid? The little kid waving the flag? That's so cute. You've given us nothing here. <laughs> can't deal with Ashpass. It feels like this entire half So someone brought their daughter to the event. back in to try and find the formula to remove this man, but there's new looks, new positions, new ways like, that he wants to find. It's like if you don't know like what's happening, you're like, oh, people are screaming? Let's go wave it. Wanted. Now they've finally taken that man out of the game who's been a huge determinant factor. However, they decide not to. They want to keep this pressure up. So it looks like the spike plant is on the docket. And Yay, making himself become the gatekeeper over towards. I have to convert this post plant. Get the spike plant first. Yeah, take it forever there. here. They're so cautious, hesitant. Almost. Oh wait, they tanked the viper. That's huge. <gasps> that Is that spammable? I did not know you could spam through that with a phantom. I actually did not know. The TP gets taken. Oh. They've had enough of that. No way. Did they make it back? No, no, no. Let's let's use them. Surely not. Oh, well, the stim will help. Oh, did they make oh, it back in time? Guy. 30 seconds And divine left. intervention called upon. Do they? No, oh, it's just missed it by faded. a second. And there's still players nearby. Far find Sassy. The send on it. An optic. How are you turning this one back in your favor? That looks so far out of touch. There's now less in the 1v5, and he wasn't even near that site at this point. That's a mad round by optic. <laughs> The key five standing as well. Look at the funds. It's going to be massive they in terms to. of the finances. And that's going to come through. Labored on the first maft. Good for the trade. The fourth in the round for him. Well, they used the Viper ult, the Raze ult, back. and the uh, Brim ult. Again, man. <laughs> Six but the triple ult round. Get yeah, to do that again, though. Can we just do that again? Yeah, sure. Cool, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, you just hit that shot on Aspas, and so then we can spiral the rest of the round. Lovely. Big fan. Remaining. That, was that could have been big brain as well. I mean, it was big brain because it worked, but it would have been even more big brain if they were able to get back into the Viper ult. The crazy thing is, Loud still leaves somebody. Oh, yeah, I mean, Crashes is posted up in showers there. I don't know if he's actually pressuring at all, but Loud still considered the possibility. Absolutely. I mean, as soon as Les feels no pressure comes through Hooker there, they can kind of read into it. We talk about repeatable success, Mike, and we have to kind of step it back a little here. Optic have not given me this overall good look yet. I want to see more consistency. That's going to help it. Yay, cracking open the round with that first pick. And now that calls him for potential rotations, maybe getting over aggressive. But look at Crashies. No, they're, they're keeping the A stack. The walkabouts. He'll meet them with a smile. Same can be said towards middle. Less wants a little bit of information, potentially. 
It's awkward here. Pankata posted up. Trailblazer used, so... Whether or not Optic are going to be able to sniff this out. That's the elsewhere. Oh, they, they know it's going to be here now. They get no follow-up on that kill. No, yeah. I'm looking to see if Sussy leans back towards B. Pop Flash didn't catch Pankata at all. Able to drag Crashies with him. But a quick trade. Aspas, no man's land. Yay is coming alive here. That's the yay that Optic Sassy needs. going to Oh. Hunter's Fury comes down. Can FNS get the plan? Yes, but can he keep his life? No, not for now at all. And now Victor and Ye, what Ceci do you have for us in this post plan? With the big ultimate. Ceci and Les. Trying to clear those close corners. They have no idea where these players reside. Victor's tucked in so deep as well and has the paint shell. So he's the late round piece here for Optic. Can Ye buy him the time necessary? Yeah, he's got to be the one to get that contact, right? He's got Has to, to keep them He's got the TP attention. as well still. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he can be a problem. Speaking of, time is the problem. Victor going to catch his cross potentially. I'm waiting for the swing to come down. They're already towards the site. They're trying to address the factor of Shao is going to just eat that pain shell. Let's oh. have to move. He doesn't get away in time. And Sassy, you can try and clear the site, but Victor's just going to play the time. He'll put his life on the line for it because the clock is on their side. We are tied up at 10-10. <laughs> After that previous round, like I said, it was going to be a massive, Where massive bonus. Out from? I want to see the economy here. I thought he was going to... He was going to get off of it after. One purchase, but like I Damn, said, he hit the headshot right there. Perfectly. And he has to be the so late patient. round piece there. Has to be. The temptation, I'm sure, to swing early could have happened there, but no, he plays it super cool, super calm. It takes loud an eternity to even come through pipes there. They're yeah. so conscious of somebody tucking up, playing close contact there. Uh, Again, loud has the like... Pipe, they they, they got to consider the TP what, two more by rounds? He can go for one and done. We've actually got a game now. Because this just felt like kind of two one-sided halves. I, I think it's a fair assessment. It's now gonna be five a bit of a fight I you think know, I like the if there, Loud takes us, I think it might go to, to, to five maps in total. Because I think here, Loud are pretty much doing the same. They're like, yeah, we, yep. we're not we're not going to challenge close. Sure, we're mm. not going to. I think I think you know, no matter what, it's going to go to four maps. Try and punish but the back line and Optic are, are failing to actually convert oh yeah, this space the same way they did on defense and. Ultimately, it's on Loud's ability to... That's the five, right? Yes, it is. I mean, it's damage control, right? Damage limitation almost, not giving away this first engagement until there's three people there, until they're able to rely on the fundamentals. There's a second swing, potentially on Aspas from Showers, perfect example. The smokes come through. Loud, just pause. They just wait for Optic to slip up. We actually might have a good best of five. Right here. The reason why I say it will go to four maps minimum is because even so. if Optic wins this map, Breeze is going to be played. I think Loud will win Breeze. Just because that's Optic's permanent ban. 10 10. It's all tied up. Optic coming alive in these final moments, these late game moments here. Decisive play as Loud set the tempo on this half, though. They had led that scoreline back to where it is. And it looks like they want to try and aggress. Marv eats the flash, but they take the space. So a little bit of a trade out early on. So they actually send out a probe here. Won't find anything on the back of it. Again, another difference to consider is... Oh, the damage. Look how frugal Optic are in terms of utility, not being burnt up, wasted towards finding the showers control. Boomba actually sent out there on the back of the pressure coming back through, but... Yeah, he's still trying to find an opportunity towards Hooker here. Like I said, Loud haven't been pushing out. Whether or not actually it's a big concern if Loud do decide a little switch up here and do want to get a little proactive. I've got your trail. Whether or not they're going to find success doing so. Seeker sent out. Initially, fine one. Oh. stands tall. But he gets a trade. Marv trades him out, though, and that's essential because normally he was able to spiral off the backhand card and no man's land, nothing to do. Utility work on point from Optic as 11's going to be beckoning on the board as Sadak and Les. They were far away. They were on the other side of the map. This isn't looking good for them here. And it looks like Optic have the solution that they'd been missing for those first couple of rounds. Factor? Was it Optic? It was loud. One of those key players who was able to really tear through them early on. It's Les this and Sadak, what do you do with this? How do you clear these positions? So little to play with still. And standing. yeah, the crossfire is golden. Timing great on the peak. Double face and optic keep four standing and make it to 11. Big round there and a big win considering how those rounds have traditionally played out towards a site. Yeah, this is 
This is kind of like a it make it or break it round for Loud right here. Because the, their economy well, is uh, invest behind this engagement. kind of boomed after. Well. They want to open up these sight lines, sight lines now on site, as opposed to just assuming the best possible scenario that nobody's going to pressure on the back of them. Yeah, if, if Loud wants this map, they have to win this round right here. sure that they can maximize the value off that ultimate. The first time actually we've seen a heavy B lane from Optic. You can already see the investment of the ult very early on here, not finding much value at all. I mean, nobody able to really backfill that through Hookah. There's four towards long here. It's only FNS there. And he's conscious of the TP crunch. He has to be. Yeah, nobody's breaking the drone. Man. On that side. Curious now what the next step is for Optic. Are they going to just cut sound here and hope for the best in terms of the rotation? There's, there's no follow-up pressure on that. Just gonna do what looks like a probably a burst piece here. If there is a flash to come off it, there is crash. He's got it in hand. And there it is, straight through we go. Less completely blind, has to dip his way back in. Mark gonna at least find Sassy on the way through here. And this bloodlust, you can see Sadak wants in. Yay, yeah, still there, but gets deleted. Sadak still holding. Pankara trades it well. The as thing well. is, will they expect? Keep even will they expect the flank? Look at Victor. Thirty seconds left. Oh, Victor is behind oh my God, he just spotted it. it. Can Mark, Mark make it? Unnoted. Espa seems to be considering it. It's done though. Mars found him. And now a 1v1. Pancada already noted the back of the site as well. He was the one who... has got the spike. Just got the spike back. I thought he was getting checked on. But the footstep seven bullets. Oh, oh. they got Pancada still standing. And Loud still alive. It's 11-11. These two teams, I you can't get between them right now. It is looking it's like it's coming six. down to the wire here. You see Marv just considering the TP there, if he could slip away, but uh, I mean, he needs another 10 seconds on the clock for that to work. Sadak though, this re-aggress to prevent Optic from garnering sight control here. Mm. Can Pankada finding that kill as well onto Victor? That could have really turned things around. <laughs> All tied up here, tour de force available, Optic. You want string to play, together this purchase. Play. No ultimates on the other side, but Aspas one away, Less one away, Sadhack one off the Seekers as well. And yay, pave the way. We find this opener. He's trying it. You could see before the intention, but again, this utility is making Marv's a problem. Rambles. Marv's done really well to find Pancada. He was the one keeping those two players kind of somewhat safe in shower, but now this should at least allow for a plan. You might take some damage Ooh, for Aspas. Aspas. How do you have the right to find what? two? Spots one, try and make a run for it. He's trying to clear this out. No one close. Great work from Marv. Hmm? Keeping composure under these pressure moments. Because now we see what happens. Zanak with the spray, tries to find it, gets it. FNS just completely revealed. Victor, though, the Seeker, he's going to take down Zanak. Again. And you're right, Pain Shell's back around. Sassy and Les, what do you do with this? Marv can still be a nuisance. They have to clear one. Sassy's going to take down Victor. Oh, it missed. The Pain Shells aren't going to do enough here, as now it's all on Marv in a 1v2. Diffuse going to come in. He finds one. Oh, he it off Diffuse, but it's Oh, Sassy. my gosh. Still to find it. To get allowed to Dude, 12. Dude, Asp Aspas literally hit HP. the most important double kill right there. Comes Dude, she killed the. Close to Holy that one. shit! An optic now. <sighs> Dire straights now. Backs against the wall. And so again, this time around. Oh, that's what happened. How eager they are to prevent Victor. I need some popcorn or something. Playing man. late here in showers. It's so close. Yeah, you yeah. can see exactly. Yeah. A sigh of wait, relief. Wait, they're not hyped at all? What? It's OT. That was such an important round. Or it's loud with map two. These guys were screaming at 11 11. 12 11 is just some claps? From Optic down on Spectres. Whatever they can scrape together. Oh, I want to respect that utility early on, though. Actually, now with Aspas doing. This much damage from showers, you can see Optic actually. FNS has the, the ulti. So if they, the, if they can get the if they can get the spike planted and FNS can sit on the bomb, he has a judge. Available, orbital strike available. That could be huge. Optic could Unless he gets like spammed or some shit. But I think Optic will be able to take the site, will be able to get the ult down. 
But then it's really up to... Oh, he's taking you. Sadak's coming over. They still have yet to clear him. Victor, gonna go for it. Force, he finds Sadak, but Sassy is still alive. Victor finds Sassy. Bakana's here. Aspas is still here. He's been deleted by Victor. And now it's two on two. Look what they've got. Leicester with that judge. It ain't ideal. They're gonna hit the TP. TP time. Get out of there. They've worked out enough. It's time to go. And Les is on just a foot race at the moment. He's got the Spectre. Does, does Les have a molly? It might be enough to take down Victor. Oh, and Molly is divine at this time. Wait. Pops the ult to try and find a way through to facilitate the push out from CT here. But it also draws attention. And Carter's not coming through this way. He's coming through from Ruka, and they are none the wiser. This could be the brick in the small of the back of Optic. There's less trying to keep all those eyes on him. Do not look anywhere else. I am the problem for you. And Carter desperately trying to clear. Does he spot anyone? HP, no. Though. And Victor staying on site, marved, sitting <gasps> towards Long. Did Victor spot that? I don't know if he did. Marv and Victor just need to hold. Pencarda starts to close in. The barrel shows. And now one more player less. What can you do? What oh. can you find? Victor so low on HP, but he's still alive. He's still breathing. But he's going to lose his teammate. Marv goes down and now the defuse. He's just going to try and sip this. But time has gone. Holy away. shit. I don't know about that ulti right there, though. We're tied up. It's 12 12. It's OT. Switching I think you're going to ult like that. You have to try to get, like, the you. overtime here on bind. I... Can you believe it? This is a little bit rough. I mean, this second half has been so back and forth. Both so teams good. adjusting perfectly as the rhythm of this game has changed. <sighs> Without breaking a sweat, seemingly. Well, yeah, that was Vix, Vix ace to bring the OT. Here. I'm going to have a seat in a moment. I was asking you to try to use it. Yeah, but like, ideally... You'd want to use it like when there's like a post line. The thing is, like, like the, the Viper's ult is good, but it's not yeah, always no, good. Yeah. So you can't just like toss it's it down anywhere. It's not like a I mean, it's not like a KO wall or some shit where you just pop it anytime and it's always gonna get some value. Like sometimes the, the Viper ult can be like a double-edged sword where it obscures everyone's vision. They can. It looks like Aspas wants to just tear them limb from limb, taking that early space. Oh, he, they know they're both there. Get out of here! So fast with a Yaden. Oh yeah. Hey, with the taps? Down, Optic, keep in control. Aspas and Les only left to watch is the 1v3 would really call for some heroics. And I just don't think he's got it. Optic quick with this one. I mean, Loud looked to get a little pacier here towards A-site. Optic just ripped them limb from limb. Comfortable there holding on to site. The concern being though, Optic felt a little flat in some of these attacking rounds. Now they have to fight. Wait, <laughs> yeah, cool. Unlucky, Sadak. A timeout. I think you're right, though. That discomfort was certainly apparent here. And Loud were very much, I'd say, in control for the you know, dominant part of this. So probably the right option here for Optic to try and maybe address that coming in. Take almost pause for thought. Yeah, I mean, the timeout being called here because... A lot rides on this. Like I said, Optic... Dude, I have to go to the restroom so bad. <laughs> anything to sort of replicate. No real comfort on the attack. So I'm curious to see, actually, what the approach is here. Whether or not loud... Or, I mean, I was talking about a potential for them to dig a little deeper, maybe get a little proactive on their defense. Whether or not this is the time now they throw a spanner in the works. A real curveball for Optic to try and catch a grip on. But he's all. It's the last round of the half. <laughs> like, just use it and shoot it. Doesn't you matter. Use like all your abilities. It's like, ah, oh, this is map two. I mean, yeah, if somebody wins it, it's Pretty like, good, yeah, yeah, cool. We could have. Like I said, this veto for me could could go the distance. Yeah, there's there's, there's a chance. Ascent being the one that, uh, in my eyes, is already flipped. Bind yeah. if Optic close this. Yeah, I, I think in my mind when I came in looking at the veto, I saw Ascent as one for Loud just because I, I liked how they looked on it. I think they'd, you know, delivered enough to keep me on board. Yeah, gets flipped. Okay, cool. Binds the unknown, and we get this close affair. I mean, we you can sit there and analyze the rest of the map, as I'm sure the desk will, but as it stands, we go back in. What does Optic have for us now? Because again... This oh my god, they're stacking. Point. However, it's Loud... Stack. Have put four you saw him. Today. Less is... Very alone. He will have support on the way. Sassy's made it over here in time, but... Again, Optic have built a lot of pressure up on Long already. They've taken at least one of the two steps that you need here. And now, 
Ooh. Take a little bit of that space back. Okay, they pulled over an additional player as well. You can have Sadak coming over on this side too. That's they committed the Viper wall. On here to hold down this shower's position if Optic decide to TP or even peel away from this. Did you see his head? Yeah, head presented, but that's actually going to miss that one. The investment of the poison orb now. Optic might actually it's decide to follow through. I don't. I don't know if they noticed this. Les has pushed back up on this. They have no idea while that flash came through. Les, Pretty sure Les has heard him. Advantage. I love that play from him. So brave to do it in these moments. As Jay tries to do the dance, deals with him well. Gonna switch to the secondary. Oh, he TP'd out. out. They are desperate to try and shut him down. As fast even on the case here. But again, we're on 30 seconds. Where is the rest of Optic in this case? Trying to break oh, they hear them running? TP taken, rotations pulled. But the Pancata's still dead. here. Look it's crashes. Pancata. Look at Crashies. Oh, punishment here. Crashies could be the dagger in the back. No way is Aspas checking this. Oh. No way what? are they checking on this. And okay, we've got to spin across because Pancada's doing similar scenes here. He was waiting very late towards LA Spike side. Sadax dealt with crashes and Pancada's kept space, but you can see that. Yeah, Pancada's just going to keep U-Haul control. That's huge for them. So again, they Wait, be aware of this Observer. Pancada, that's huge. And now it's all the players coming back in. They've addressed the unknown. They found the player who they did not note before. And now a 3 Dude, that was such a huge fight right there. For FNS as well. It's an awkward position to get it going though. Oh, Sassy on the swing! It's so good! Vic, and, Vic has oh, ult! He won the showstopper! Get Sassy! He's got the showstopper online! Sassy has got barely any HP, really! Takes some chunks of damage! Victor needs to play so composed here. Keep the oh. pressure! Oh! Fight, Sassy! It's 14 to 12! Optic have done it in OT! That's two now on the board for the boys and they are looking hot to trot here. Victor finds the ace to force overtime, then clutches yeah. up from that See the next map. trademark wow. position in showers. Again, so much to work with in the post. Breeze. Beautifully done by Optic. Optic are laying. Okay, so if Breeze. Right I, I do still think Bruce Loud's going to take Breeze. Play step by step. Icebox. They are building. It's their own might be optic map here in Reykjavik taking over what any legacy was left because they have just put up a stunner of a performance at 14. I do.